Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook tutorial. Here we have Unit 5 Momentum. The section is 5.J Explosion. In this problem, there isn't an explosion, but mathematically it works like an explosion. Here you could read the scenario to yourself. So the first one, it says which student moves faster for T greater than uh, big T? Explain your reasoning without manipulating equations. Um, my recommendation is for you to actually do part B first, then do part A because part B gives you the math for part A. So part B, that's what I'm going to do first. The system is Carlos and the ball. There is no net external forces. So the momentum of the system is conserved. That would be delta P X equals to zero. That X just means it's in the horizontal. Initially, Carlos and the ball are at rest, so their initial momentum is zero. So their final momentum must also be zero. V naught C is original velocity for Carlos. Vol original velocity for the ball, that's both zeros. The equation for the, velo the final velocity of for Carlos, I'm basically solving for V one C here. Okay, the book will use final. I use one for it. It looks like that. I basically subtract mv1b, then divide by big M. For the second part of the problem, the system is the ball and Angelica. There's no net external force, so the momentum is conservative. Initially, Angelica is at rest, and the ball has momentum mv, which means the final momentum must also equal to mv. After the collision, the ball and Angelica and Angelica has a new velocity. So it looks like this. But now the ball does have momentum, so it's not equal to zero. Only Angelica's momentum equals to zero. Solve for velocity one for Angelica. Looks like that. Now we can come back and answer part A. We have to note Due to the conservation momentum, the initial momentum of the system is equal to the final momentum of the system. The system is considered to be Carlos, a ball, and Angelica. When Carlos throws the ball to the right, he actually experiences a force that pushes him to the left due to Newton's third law. The ball travels with momentum towards Angelica. Please understand that when Carlos throws the ball, he's actually doing work into the system. The momentum given to the ball, MV, then has to be shared between the ball and Angelica. The shared part is this part. Do you see how it has to be shared between big M plus little m? So to keep the total momentum of the system constant, Angelica has to have a smaller speed than Carlos. All right now I'm going to explain part B in part A and the in part C. All I did is I wrote Carlos's final velocity right here, Angelica's velocity is right here. If you compare it, look at Angelica's velocity. Angelica's velocity value is going to be smaller because do you see this denominator? The denominator is big M plus little m is going to be larger. So this is going to be a large number due to her and the ball mass being together. Part D. Remember, if the denominator is large, the total value is small because this is on the bottom of the fraction. You, now you want to rank the energies and explain. I have E2 is greater than E3, which is greater than E1. I'm going to explain which every E means. So E1 was before the ball was thrown. Here, the system has no mechanical energy. Two, the ball is thrown. Carlos does actually work on the ball. He does that by throwing the ball. Therefore, there's an increase in mechanical energy because Carlos is actually doing work on the wall. Remember, there was the net force acting on it. The ball's catch on E3. Angelica catches the ball. The collision between her and the ball is inelastic. Therefore, some energy was lost due to the heat. So there's less energy than before. So E2 is bigger because that is the increase in mechanical energy. E3 is less because energy was lost in forms of heat when Angelica caught the ball 
and E1 is last because it's basically zero because the system had no mechanical energy, right? So this is considered an explosion because the it had one mass and it got separated into two mass. There you go. This is 5J.